The last thing I want to do is come up with a state innovation plan that no one likes or doesn't agree with. So I'll be distilling all the ideas out of today's seminar and, and, and probably prioritise them. I already have some in my back pocket, of course, but I want to make sure that when we come up with a state innovation strategy, we actually have collaboration with the community and they in, endorse what we're going to do. Look, the Treasurer's given me $20 million to spend over the next four years, and I want to find out how I should best spend it to support innovation in Western Australia. So that's what today's about. I want to get ideas from the stakeholders involved in the start-up, small business and medium business industry. What should we do to support innovation in Western Australia? Look, uh, even though I had a few ideas in my back pocket, there's a few interesting things that I have learned already and it's only, been, only got to morning tea. One is perhaps we don't have the right incentives around taxation. But that is a Commonwealth issue, but I mean that's something that's a bit broader than myself as the Minister in the state. But the other thing is getting people together, just this Innovation Summit where we're getting people together, I think perhaps we need to have more of these. So maybe uh, already in my mind is that uh, we might have to have one of these every year and to see how our strategy is going and just for the pure sake of bringing people together and maybe how to tweak it. One of the things that I can do as the Minister of Innovation is show leadership and try and create a culture in Western Australia. We already have some exciting people doing great stuff, but how do we pull it all together? And I think the government has a role to perhaps show the leadership and maybe show a, a strategy of how that can we can all work together and actually make Western Australia the innovation hub of the Southern Hemisphere and indeed our link to Asia.